today I'm going to be going over the notes for unit E and unit F. So this should be my second to last video. And I'm going to be doing this in question and answer format. So try to guess the answers as I go along. Pause it though before you guess because I'm not going to like wait. You can just pause it. <laughs> if that makes sense because I want to save some time. But um, So let's begin with unit E which is on energetics. So what is energy? The ability to do work. What do living things require energy for? Muscle contraction, so moving, cell division, active transport, nerve impulses, and synthesis of molecules. What does ATP stand for? Adenosine triphosphate. What are the parts of ATP? Adenine, ribose, three phosphate groups. What is ATP? The energy found in the bonds which attach the three phosphate groups to the molecule. What happens if the bonds in ATP are broken? Energy is acquired and can be used to do cellular work. What does ADP stand for? Adenosine diphosphate. <clears throat> How is ADP different from ATP? It has two phosphate groups instead of three. How is ADP formed? After the cell uses energy stored in the ATP molecule. What makes energy for the ATP ADP cycle? Cellular respiration. What releases energy in the cycle? Energy is used to do work in the cell. Um, does ATP store energy? No, it just transfers energy. <clears throat> what is the chemical equation for photosynthesis? 6CO2 plus 6H2O plus light changes to 6H2, sorry, translates to 6, translates to C6H12O2 plus 6O2. That makes sense. So how do plants get CO2? Stomates, which are tiny pores on the bottom of leaves. So how do plants get water? And don't overthink this. Just, they just get it through their roots. That's the answer, roots. So, uh, what are the three main pigments in plant cells? Chlorophyll A and B, carotene, and xanophyll. What uh, light energy does chlorophyll A and B absorb? Red and blue. What light energy does chlorophyll reflect? Pretty obvious. Green. What colors do, does carotene absorb? Blue and green. What colors does carotene reflect? Orange and red. What colors does xanophyll absorb? Everything except for yellow. What colors does xanophyll reflect? Take a guess. Yellow. <laughs> what are the three factors affecting photosynthesis? Amount of water available, temperature, and intensity of sunlight. What is cellular respiration. The process that releases energy by breaking down food molecules. What is energy for cellular respiration stored in? ATP. What does cellular respiration occur in? All living things. <clears throat> Describe the, pro the purpose of cellular respiration. Um, the reactions break the bonds in organic molecules like glucose, releasing the energy which is taken uh, and used to form ATP from ADP. So, forming of ATP. What is the um, what is the formula for cellular respiration? ADP plus P changes to ATP. Pretty easy. What are the two types of respiration? Aerobic and anaerobic. Describe anaerobic respiration. No oxygen and it happens in the cytoplasm. Describe aerobic respiration. You need to have oxygen and it happens in the mitochondria and more energy is released. What is glycolysis? Splitting of sugar. Where does glycolysis occur in the chytoplasm. So it's a type of um, it's a type of anaerobic anyway. So what does glycol 
glycolysis result in? Dirubic acid. Pyruvic acid, sorry. Um, what is glycolysis also called? Fermentation. What are two types of anaerobic respiration? Lactic acid fermentation and alcoholic fermentation. What does la where does lactic acid fermentation occur? In your muscles during strenuous exercise and in microbes used to make yogurt, shower cream, and sauerkraut. What is the equation for lactic acid fermentation? C6H12O6 changes to 2 ATP plus 2 lactic acid. What does a uh, build up for, of lactic acid cause? What does this build up cause? Muscle fatigue. Where does alcoholic fermentation occur? Think about it. In yeast cells. What is the equation for alcoholic fermentation? C6H12O6 changes to 2 ATP plus CO2 plus alcohol. Where does aerobic cellular respiration occur? In organisms that possess the correct enzymes and when oxygen is available. What does aerobic respiration result in? 36 ATP per glucose. What is the formula for aerobic cellular respiration? C6H12O6 plus 6O2 changes to 6CO2 plus 6H2O plus 36 ATP. How much ATP is um, produced in anaerobic respiration? Two. The two there versus 36. Okay, now we're in unit F. Exciting! So, why are cells so small? The larger a cell gets, the more demand a cell places on its DNA. The more trouble it has moving nutrients in and wastes out. So, this makes things harder. Describe mitotic cell division. <clears throat> it's asexual. One cell divides into two cells, and chromosome number remains the same, and the daughter cells are genetically identical clones. What is mitosis? Division of the nucleus. What are the two basic steps for mitosis? Chromosomes are replicated. Chromosomes are, separ are separated. So one, replication, two, separation. Picture chromatin. They look like this. It's just like a little like wound up ball. Of the, like you can't see individual ones. So they're just like oh, twiggly and stuff. <laughs> That's a good description. Describe chromatin. So DNA strands are long, spindly, and intertwined. Individual chromosomes are not visible, and they are found in non-dividing cells. That's chromatin. Picture a chromosome. So as you can see, it, look, it can look like an X, or it can look like a sideways V. Each one is a chromosome. Uh, describe a chromosome. DNA strands have shortened and thickened by coiling around a protein. They're visible in the cell, and they're found in actively dividing cells. So, yeah. Um, what is a centromere? <clears throat> it's a point that holds two identical strands of DNA together in a double-stranded chromosome. This double strand is like the X instead of the B. So what is one of the two strands in a double-stranded chromosome called? A chromatid. When are double-stranded chromosomes found? early in the stages of mitosis. What are the five phases of the cell cycle? Interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Describe interphase. It's the resting stage of the cell. It's the longest stage. DNA is in the form of chromatin. The cell carries out normal activities, and the centrosome is located outside the nucleus in animal cells. What is the centrosome? It's a dense area containing the centrioles. What is the end of interphase marked by? Replication of DNA. What does, when does mitosis officially begin? Prophase. <clears throat> what happens in prophase? Double-stranded chromosomes become visible. The nucleolus disappears. 
the nuclear membrane makes to, breaks down, and the centrosome breaks, and the centrioles go to the poles at opposite sides, and the spindle fibers begin to form. Uh, picture interface. So what does this thing look like? So I got two pictures, one of early and one of late. So if you can see, we got the early, that's this one, they're all kind of scattered, and the late, they're I got that mixed up. Early, they're inside the membrane, but the membrane's kind of breaking down. Late one, they're all like scattered around. And you can see there's a pulse thing. Okay, so what happens in metaphase? So double-stranded chromosomes line up across the middle of the cell, and spindle fibers attach to the centromere. Picture what metaphase looks like. This is easier. You see like right here, it's like a circle, and they got their little spindle fibers and the chromosomes. Lined up in the middle. Okay. What happens in anaphase? Think part. So spindle fibers are shortened and they pull down the double stranded chromosomes apart uh, when the centromere splits. So they go to opposite sides. And one complete set of chromosomes moves to each end of the cell. Picture what anaphase looks like. You see the chromosomes are splitting apart. Yeah. What happens? In telophase, two nuclei form, nucleoli form, centrioles duplicate, forming two new centrosomes, and chitokinesis occurs. What is chitokinesis? Chitoplasmic division. What happens in chitokinesis in animal cells? Cell membrane pinches in. What happens in plant cells during chitokinesis? The cell plate forms between the nuclei, so separation of it. Picture telophase. So what does telophase look like? See that thing? What is the result of mitosis? Result. Two genetically identical daughter cells. What are cyclins? Proteins that regulate the timing of the cell cycle. What is cancer? A disorder in which the body's own cells lose the ability to control growth. What is binary fission? Bacteria divides into two equal parts. <clears throat> what is vegetative propagation? Taking part of a plant to grow a genetically identical plant. So take off my arm, make another Mika. <laughs> like that, except with plants. So what is meiosis? It's a type of nuclear division in which the chromosome number is halved because the nucleus divides twice. <clears throat> what does meiosis result in? Gametes, which are sex cells. What happens in meiosis 1? The homologous chromosomes pair up, forming tetrads, which is synapsis, and crossing over may take place. Tetrads are separated into two cells, and this process is called disjunction, so separation. What happens in meiosis 2? The daughter cells from meiosis are divided without uh, any chromosomal replication and it results in four haploid cells, which are gametes. What is gametogenesis? The formation of gametes by the process of meiosis. What is spermogenesis? When four sperm cells are formed. Wonder what, why? <laughs> what is eugenesis? When one egg and three polar bodies are formed. What is gene linkage? When genes for two different traits are on the same chromosome. For example, red hair and freckles, you see. What is um, the, who, who is the father of genetics? Gregor Mendel. What did Gregor Mendel say? Every individual has two versions um, for a trait. These versions are called alleles. And one trait from the mother and one from the father. Dominant alleles are in the blank letters. Capital. <clears throat> Recessive alleles are in the blank letters. Lowercase. <coughs> Homologous equals match. Heterozygous equals unmatched. What is the law of dominance? Some traits are dominant, and in individuals that are heterozygous, only the dominant trait is shown. The hidden trait is recessive. <clears throat> what is the law of segregation? The two copies of a gene will separate during meiosis. Each gamete only gets one copy. <clears throat> what is the law of independent assortment? 
Genes for different traits are separated and distributed to gametes independently of one another, as long as they are on different chromosomes. What is a monohybrid cross? That's when both par parents are hybrid for a trait. What is a genotype? That's your gen genetic makeup. What is your phenotype? That's your physical, um, they say appearance, but that's not really accurate because some things you can't see, but it's your physical makeup. Like, what do you, what's like the result of your genetics, basically? What is a test cross? Um, it's a cross used to determine the genotype of a dominant phenotype. How do you do a test cross? Uh, dominant phenotype times recessive phenotype, and you do it two times, two pennant squares with uh, two possibilities. What is complete dominance? Mendel's dominance is when one trait is shown, another is hidden. For example, capital T, lowercase t equals tall. <coughs> what is co-dominance? That's when both traits are shown equally, there's two different capital letters used. An example of this would be row and cattle. What is incomplete dominance? It's the blending of traits for two different capital letters, which are again used. So, an example of this would be the colors of flowers, which would be a mix. It's a blending. Describe having multiple alleles. There are more than two different possible alleles for one trait. Each individual, though, still has two alleles. So, yeah, that's what happens. So, <clears throat> what's an example of multiple alleles in humans? An example would be blood type, and your alleles that you can have are A, B, or O. <coughs> what chromosomes equal female? X, X. Two Xs. What chromosomes equal male? X and a Y. Most sex-linked traits are on the blank chromosome and are blank. X chromosomes and they're recessive. What are some examples of sex-linked traits? Um, hemophilia, colorblindness, and muscular dystrophy. What are some examples of polygenic traits? Hair color, eye color, height, and skin color. What are polygenic traits? Traits controlled by two or more genes. Multiple combinations of alleles work together. So I hope that helps. Hopefully this helps you study, and yeah, I really hope this works.